I'm guessing you've never been to a chiropractor before? Never before. These are painless adjustments, okay? I don't treat anything. Pull, pull, okay. Who's nuts? <laughs> Who's nuts? <laughs> nuts! Wow. I just made you gluten intolerant. So you're not um, evil. So, my back has been killing me. Many people in the YouTube comments seem to have some kind of concern about my back. I don't know what it is, but either way, today, the chiropractor. Chiropractor. Okay. So I just came across Dr. Abel Rodriguez. Apparently he's a chiropractor and uh, he has a lot of um, one star reviews. Abel Rodriguez is a glorified card reader. This approach he uses is no more than a very overpriced $140 magic trick. I was looking to be adjusted, and instead he told me I need to forgive myself. The day after he did his energy healing and pretend adjustment, I had a terrible migraine and almost passed out reading a book to my son. He told us he didn't believe that chiropractic worked and that he now used energetic healing and kinesiology. Kinds, kinesology. Kinesology? Kinesiology. Kinesiology? Kinesiology. Kinesiology. I will repeat it more slower. He totally cheated me. What he is doing with this scam is nothing short of evil and malpractice. If you are looking for card reading nonsense, then this is your guy. If not, don't even bother. If you don't crack anything, can you even call yourself a chiropractor? Well, if I've heard anything about going to the chiropractor, it's that it usually results in some sort of wonderful crack and release. No crack. After him just laying two fingers on me all over, he said he was done. Caused a vertebrae in my neck to go out from the muscle testing, which caused severe headaches and had to be put back in by another chiropractor. I'm willing to, you know, do anything for the cause. So if that involves, you know, letting this person, you know, try out some kin kinesiology on my back, then I'm going to fucking do that and uh, hope for the best when it comes to my back. I sure could use a fixing. As they say, you are as young as your spine is flexible. But in my profession, one star reviews are not something I can be flexible with. I need to experience the service for myself. I was on a mission and I have no problem putting my physical well-being on the line in pursuit of the truth. I'm Taji. Taji? Yes. Hi, Taji, Dr. Rodriguez. Did I so nice to meet you, yes. Tanji? Thank okay, you so much it. for having me today. Dr. Rodriguez took me back to his treatment room for a consultation so he could get an understanding of my physical issues. So, what do we need to fix on you? So I've had a lot of back pain. Um, I dislocated a shoulder skateboarding a long time ago, so back here it kind of hurts. My back, like even kind of back here now hurt. Definitely some like, I don't know what you call that, if it's like early arthritis or what, but kind of like tension here. Mm -hmm. This knee's actually pretty tight, this back knee right here. Right, right, okay. For some time down here, it was like really messed up, but now it's kind of gotten better. So once in a while, like I do get a little thing from that. I don't know if it's a migraine or what it is, but sometimes towards the end of the day, it'll just start aching, but nothing too pressing. Okay. Everything that I do is designed to get you well as quickly as possible with as few visits as possible. So what we want to do is we want to fix you. But the best way to fix you is to find out what's causing your problem. Dr. Rodriguez had me do a series of stretches to get a clearer picture of what was going on with me. So you have body inflammation. Just with a few touches, Dr. Rodriguez already had the beginnings of a diagnosis. Was he a master chiropractor or were the reviews true? After him just laying two fingers on me all over, he said he was done. If you don't crack anything, can you even call yourself a chiropractor? He totally cheated me. It was still much too early for my own diagnosis on him. So I continued with my treatment. And Jesus, uh, that should have broke my index finger. 
My pinky. Push out, go. Oh, yeah, that one's like gonna cramp if I push any harder. Even the muscles of your back are weak. So what we need to do is find out what's turning all of this off. We're gonna retest these muscles while you touch certain areas of your body. Okay, what I want you to do is find your belly button for me. Okay, this is the reflex for hormones. I'm going to re-push on this muscle again. It didn't change it. Not the hormone. Right. This is the digestive reflex. Dr. Rodriguez continued his scan of my body, testing my immune reflex, cardiovascular reflex, my muscular reflex, and no matter where I touched, my muscles were still weak. Didn't change anything. Didn't change anything. Didn't change anything. Was I just incredibly frail, or was there a deeper cause to my pain? But before we were to give up, he had one last reflex he wanted to test. This is the emotion reflex. Touch there. Resist, go, pull. <laughs> push out, go, push, 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 push out. <laughs> Massive difference, isn't it? Certainly. Why are you having the neck pain, the back pain, all of this? Um, I don't know, I guess maybe could it be like stress related or something? Emotional like that in my stress. Head? Wow. It was quite the revelation to discover that all of my physical issues came from a single source. Everything has a beginning, and stress is your beginning. While just knowing this wouldn't instantly cure me, it still was a relief to finally have some clarity. Dr. Rodriguez then had to reset my energy switches. So all I have to do is reset the switches. This would help alleviate my poisonous, stressful energy, and hopefully in turn, cure my bodily pain. So the reset switches are here. You already found them? Yes. Wow. Pull, 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 okay, great. Okay, you can put this down. All right, so I've reset everything. The man's methods were really out of the ordinary, and I actually did feel better after this process. But just when I thought he was a miracle worker, he hit me with some unthinkable news. This doesn't do anything. When I was doing that, that doesn't do anything, nothing. Now I didn't know what to believe. But why do I do that? Because for some people, if I just did energy healing just the way I did, they would think I'm nuts. So I had to do this. I had to have them touch here. Touching has nothing to do with anything. It was starting to feel like maybe the reviews were true. This doctor claims to heal you in a day from all illness just by reading your energy. What he's doing with this scam is nothing short of evil and malpractice. We're nothing but energy, pure energy. This is not a solid, this is energy. If you'd have shown this iPhone to somebody 20 years ago and told them, oh yeah, we can download a movie in a matter of a few seconds, they probably would have thought you were nuts. Wow. With my belief in Dr. Rodriguez at an all-time low? Nuts. Who's nuts? Who's nuts? He made one final pitch to sell me on his vision. I'm fixing causes, okay? I don't actually heal you because that's not the power that I've got. All I do is remove the roadblocks, and the roadblocks were emotions. Emotions are the cause of absolutely everything on this planet, from cancer to a common cold. Since everything is emotional, what we want to do is we need to change our perspective. If I think it, then I am what I think I am. You want to get well? You want to get better? You need to think positive, be positive. You need to forgive yourself. I was looking to be adjusted, and instead he told me I need to forgive myself. The day after he did his energy healing and pretend adjustment, I had a terrible migraine and almost passed out reading a book to my son. Wow. Anyway, well, so thank you for sharing this, this all with us. This has been incredible. You're welcome. Wow. I wrote a book on this. I was about one to two months away from a wheelchair. I could barely walk. I have absolutely no pain. None. Zero. Awesome, yeah. for sure. I wasn't sure that my bodily pain would be totally cured by just thinking positively, but I was open to it. However, before I could get too focused on positive thinking, I had to get to the bottom of his one-star reviews. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna check for misalignments. Okay. Any pain there? Not in particular. Okay. 
before I came in, you know, I was checking out some of your reviews and I saw people were mentioning, you know, a lot of kind of, you know, negative thoughts. Um, have you seen some of those? Uh, no, I don't, I don't normally go on and take yeah, a look at those reviews. Totally. Okay, you're gonna feel a quick tap here. Okay. And is any of this gonna result in a crack or I shouldn't expect that necessarily? You shouldn't expect it necessarily. A lot of chiropractors twist necks and backs and they wanna hear a crack. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that necessarily. Yeah. Cause one person I guess was trying to say like, if a chiropractor isn't gonna crack your back, are they a chiropractor at all? The reality is bones only misalign a millimeter. And if you're wanting a bone to pop, you potentially could be creating a problem for this patient. One person was even, I guess, trying to compare it to like card reading, tarot card. They said a glorified <laughs> card reader. Okay. Yeah, some people say that because they don't understand what's going on. But most people who have this done are just amazed at how much better they're feeling. Do you remember the one person in particular, I guess they said something about the next day they had a migraine after coming here. They were reading to their kid, I guess he said, and that you, you told them they needed to forgive themselves or something. I don't know what that, what that is. I mean, one even said something about like a malpractice compared to like the act of evil. Uh, I, I don't know anything about that review. I don't read those reviews. So you're not um, evil. I don't think I'm evil, no. <laughs> no, I don't think so, yeah. What I try to do is get my patients well, and that's what I'm concerned with, and that's what I focus on. Well, you can't fault a doctor who cares more about his patient's well-being than his one-star reviews. And what he was going to do next would put his skills to the test like never before. Is anybody you know who has a particular back or neck problem or food intolerance or... Yeah, I have a friend named Cooler the Don, um, and he, uh, yeah, he has, I mean, he, 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 sorry, I'm like, I'm like freaking out just thinking about his diet, but basically he's like, you know, celiac, he can't eat gluten, you know, he can't like eat shellfish. Dr. Rodriguez told me to call Cooler the Don to get his approval for us to cure him of his allergies. I'm here with Dr. Rodriguez. I'm on the move, man, what's the deal? Is it cool if we can try to fix you real quick? Yeah. Okay, that's all we need. Now that we got Cooler's approval, Dr. Rodriguez would work on my producer's body, which would act as the proxy for Cooler the Don. I'm thinking digestive issues on you. Resist? It didn't go because you don't have digestive issues. Now, what's your friend's name again? Cooler the Don. Cooler the Don? Yes. I like that. Okay, I'm thinking digestive issues on Cooler the Don. Now, I expect this to weaken if he has them. And resist. Look at this, look at this. I can do it with my index. And resist, resist. Look at this, look at this, going, look at this. Now this is not a trick, he's twice my size. I just fixed it. Now, I expect this to weaken if Cool of the, cool of the Dawn has digestive issues. Resist, pull, pull, pull. It won't go any place. So I just fixed his digestive issue. Your friend's digest, digestive issue. I just made you gluten intolerant. Me? Yes. I'm sorry, what, what was your name again? Ben. Ben, okay, now watch this. We're gonna see if you have allergies. Resist, fight me, bingo, yes you do. And resist, pull, bingo, a fair amount actually. Could you make me back to being yeah. gluten intolerant? Oh, oh, no problem, okay, I just did it. On my way to meeting Dr. Rodriguez, I could not get the reviews out of my mind. To my delight, I was met with a kind and passionate man who simply wants to heal people. I understand this is an unconventional and controversial way to practice, so this may not be the place for you. But I believe Dr. Rodriguez has valuable insight into a healthy and happy lifestyle, and I left with a clear head and a soothed body. He really helped me put my happiness first. Thank you, Dr. Rodriguez. I eat pretty much anything. I don't like goat cheese, though. Well, I don't either. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird kind of flavor. It's like, <laughs> it makes me go like kind of like almost like a reaction. It's weird. Really? I don't know if it's okay. like an, well, yeah. All right. Whenever I eat it, it's just like yeah, very intense, but not in a good way. Right. But I like all other you know cheeses are right. good with me. Okay.